What's up and welcome back to the Becca Hooker channel. I'm your friend Oz Becca Hooker and please excuse the sound of the baby in the background. I have an eight month old that likes crawling around. I need to keep him close to make sure he doesn't bite the wires. I'm still currently in New Zealand and one of the target species that people keep telling me to go after here is the New Zealand kingfish. They're strong, they're powerful and they're saltwater fish and you can catch them either from the rocks, from the beaches, but that's really hard and also from the boats. Unfortunately, I don't know much about the fishing here, so I went to an old friend, Facebook. I managed to find a couple of fishing communities here and posted to some of them asking if anyone would like to take me out to make some fishing videos. And finally, one guy replied. Uh, cheers, man. Thank you for the drive. Uh, I could do cash. There you go. No, I need 20 bucks for the day. Cool, sweet. Sweet as. You have a good day. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Thanks, man. Good day. Yeah. Uh, you guys friends with Shara? Who? Shara? Shara Sivas? Yeah. Oh, no, I'm but he's... All oh, right. down on the beach. Oh, down on the beach. He's got, a, he's got an aluminium boat like this. It's got a flat top on it. Oh, cool. Cheers, man. We're looking for Shara. Oh, guy. One of the dudes we met from the Facebook page, the Kapiti Facebook page, and he's got an aluminium boat on the beach somewhere, so let's go find him. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure. I just met him on Facebook. <laughs> really? I just posted on the Kapiti Facebook page saying, hey, uh, I make YouTube videos and fishing products and would love to see some, try and make some videos while I'm here. If anyone wants to go fishing with me, then by all means, let me know. What's the name of your company again? Oh, my company? Yes. Bangkok Hooker? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the boat you see in the video here is the DNA, and the captain is Sharo Sievers. Now, it turns out that the guy that I found on Facebook isn't just any guy. Sharo apparently is one of the number one fishermen here in the area. Earlier this year, he won the Penn Tuna Fishing Competitions as first place with $5,000 in cash prize. Come back. Damn, this beach is flat. <laughs> Spinning on his own. That's a good boat, eh? All right. Let's get spun. Yep, push us up. Died last night. The orca died last night. Before we could go after the kingfish, we needed bait. To do this, Sharo uses the sounder in his boat to locate where the fish are. With one hand, he controlled the boat to position ourselves right above the bait, while the other hand used the sabiki rig to catch them. 
This was a procedure that required a lot of coordination, and Sharo handled it with ease. Within 15 minutes, our live well was full, and we were ready to go after the kingfish. Yeah, that was on your hook too, wasn't it? That was on your hook too. Here at Sierra Strike Hockey. That way, Hockey. Other way. Under the chin and through the top of the mouth. I'm sorry, man. You'll be. Today. It's a healthy one. All right, we're holding this, waiting for the fish to go tap, 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 and then pull tight, yeah, and then we just like crank it. It'll uh, dip down. Don't do nothing until it goes off. All righty. It's on. It's on. All right. Oh, fish on. Uh, oh, fish mint. Is it? So this is your rod for catching the kingy. Sweet ass. How was the fight? When you fought that kingy? Good. Take a long time? Cool, cool. You got this hockey? Oh, oh he's got I one. Can't line. <laughs> it's not lining. Yeah, no, let it, let it uh, puff out a bit. Okay. A look. I'll have a feel. Nah, that's alright. Boom. Boom. On schedule, hey, these fish. Hey. <laughs> Do you want me to tire them out a bit? Yeah. He was like a big snapper, mate. Is it? Oh, it might be a big snapper. It's going like boom, 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 boom. And it went on straight away. It didn't bite or anything. It just went on straight away. I'm sure you can wind that. Hang on, I'll put you in your harness. Oh, you haven't got it on. Keep on winding, because it's going to get off if you don't wind. Keep it up. Looks like a snapper, boy. Hope so, it'll be biggie. <laughs> That's good eating. <laughs> Please be a snapper. Looks like a snapper, mate. What's you going to do to the snapper? Uh, of course, I mean, what, what recipe? <laughs> come on, boy! No. Nope. Here it comes. What is Here's it? Here's the leader line. King. Oh, king! Well done! Get to your first kingy, mate. Good one. First kingy for his rod. 
Let's have a look, man. Ho, 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 ho. How big is this one? Big enough for you to take home, mate. <laughs> <laughs> They're so big. All right, I need to land one. Oh. <laughs> Holy cow, they pull hard. You like the in, mate? Yeah, oh, that's good stuff. Oh. Yeah. That. Jeez, finally got a fish on. <laughs> Put it down here. Oh boy. Oh, my first king, I guess. I think, I don't know. Oh, it's pulling hard. Shoo, 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 shoo. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Ugh. Gee, that rod's holding out. <laughs> oh, stripping of some line. Here we go. <laughs> oh no. Oh, what happened? How'd it get off? How does it throw a circle hook? What? No. Uh, came off. Hook's still on too. How do you even throw a circle hook? <laughs> Jeez. No. I just lost a nice one. No. It wasn't the biggest one though, but still would have been nice to catch a fish. Ah, dirty lens. Let me clean that real quick. Come back to your yeah, where'd you go? <laughs> Come on. Come on back. Daddy needs a kingfish. Fish on. Over the years I've fought a lot of really awesome fish. Giant snakehead, Mekong giant catfish, freshwater giant stingray, sailfish. All these fish pose very different styles of fighting. But with the kingfish, it gave me a very unique experience. It was a burst of really powerful energy going left, going right. At one point I even got the fish knocking me off of my feet, having to find balance again. This was a really fun fight. I highly recommend anyone who ever comes to New Zealand to at least give a shot to fight the New Zealand kingfish. It's pretty badass. It's a good fish. Good exercise. Oh, it's taking it. Oh, coming up. Be nice, would it? You be the lucky lady. So, uh, slowly dated and get it pregnant. <laughs> Oh, 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 that's strong. Oh, that's strong. It came out of nowhere. <laughs> oh, not like this. The catfish, though, yes. <laughs> oh, come on, baby. Oh, he's getting tired. Not the biggest, I reckon. Just strong as fuck. <laughs> Here we come. Yeah. <laughs> it's this one. Uh, there you go. Yeah. Oh, there he is. There's my fish. It's not a keep size, is it? Oh, what a fish! Uh, oh, 
Oh, yeah, they're almost the same size. Circle hook in the side of the cheek. Right. Well done, well done. They have any teeth? No. Uh, raspy things. Uh, yeah, it's sandpaper. Sa sandpaper mouth. Let's see if you've got your first little thingy, eh? Oh, I'm at first one. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Charo. You're the man. So this video was shot at the peak of New Zealand winter, meaning the sun was setting at 4.30 p.m. every night. We had to get back to shore right around 3 p.m. otherwise it'd get too dangerous to stay out and be able to bring the boat back in the darkness. A big shout out to Haki and Sharo for helping me land my first New Zealand kingfish. As for the two fish that we caught, he gave me both of them and have produced many awesome dishes for the next few weeks. Kingfish actually tastes pretty much like hamachi, a firm, oily, white flesh that works well in all sorts of dishes. Baked, boiled, pickled, and raw. You can eat in so many ways. So once again, big shout out to Sharo and Haki. And to you guys, my viewers, thank you all for watching to the very end. My name is Oz Back Hooker. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to keep in touch. As for now, we'll see you next time. Swat the cup.